guys, X underscore reaction to you, and I'll be teaching you how to install mods on a Minecraft.jar single player for 1.2.3 on a Mac. Okay. First, you open up your Internet Explorer, type download mod loader 1.2.3. Can go to Rasigami's mod mod. Can't pronounce the name. While it's loading, um, okay, this this has a lot of good mods. Read the questions if you have trouble. Tells you how to do it on Windows and a Macintosh. Right? This has got mod loader, as you may um you may see. It also has all these other mods made by um made by Rusigame. This is a one of my favorites. I'll show you how to install that one and this one. Yeah, lots of comments. But in order to do this, you need Mod Loader. Download Direct, but you should download AdFly to give to help them out. Okay, what if we'll pick I don't know, Elemental Arrows? Um, I know we don't need that, but you may need that. Um, Spawner GUI. And we'll just do sh recipe book and shelf. Now we'll also want too many items because that's one of the favorites. Um, just let it load. Um, what's a good size? Load. Blah blah blah. Download for Minecraft 1.2.2, 1.2.3. And go to AppFly. <laughs> Please wait two seconds. Remind me later. Skip that. Okay, that's downloaded. Yeah. Okay. So, in order to find your .jar, go to whatever it is. Library. If you're in a um, Mac OS X Lion, you got to go to Go and you got to hold Option. Uh, actually, I don't know why it's not appearing, but I think it works for you. And then you go to, and then you click Library. When you get Library, type in Application. You get Application Support up. And if you've used Minecraft before, there should be a folder called Minecraft. And you go into that, go into bin, and you go to your Minecraft.jar. I have all these other ones here, here, and here, but th th they shouldn't be there. This one should be here. Now, open it with some sort of an archiving file, um, application, like archive utilities. And then, see the meta int? You always have to delete that, otherwise it just won't work. Okay, now we've got that hard part over. Okay, we'll install too many items because that's all. In too many items does not make, need mod loader. All other mods do, but not mod loader. Mod loader is a, is a too many items is a good one. Spawn a GUI. Okay, we'll drag that in. And you can all you can't put a lot of mods in one jar because if there are really big mods that they can replace the um other mod files, so Make sure to back up your Minecraft.jar every time you install mods. Install mod loader. That all replace. Recipe book. You should never do this much at once because sometimes they might not work. And I'm not positive this will work either, but. Arrows mod. Okay, now that's done. Rename your Minecraft.jar something like Minecraft underscore Mac Minecraft underscore 1.2.3 or whatever. <laughs> You've got to name that dot jar. You can recompress it or, un or leave it like that. It will still work no matter what. Now, your Minecraft. Like I said, I'm not positive if this will work, 
That's how you do it. So, ooh, might work. Single player, create new world. Uh, it'll be survival because I'll tell you one of the tricks in mod loader. I mean, one of the um, tricks in Too Many Islands does. Hmm, taking a while. Might take a while depending on what mod you have on. Okay, a little laggy at first. Okay, well, there's too many items. Delete mode, which is when you click things. For example, delete. Delete. Creative mode turns you into creative, which is really nifty. Oh, God, no. Oh, God, yeah. Uh, but also remember, it can hurt. Rain, we'll turn the rain on. Turn it off. Set time to morning. Set time to noon, which is midday. Set time to sunset. Oh, no. Um, set time to midnight. And all the all these features are not available through multiplayer. Only this part is. Which We'll have all the potions, all that, and all the mods. For example, homing bow. Shoot some of this thing. A homing bow will aim for the nearest mob. It's a nifty mod, it's quite fun. You can also get it through this, via this screen. Recipe book, let's find that. Recipe book, recipe book. It's like a simple book. Oh, well, while we're waiting, I'll show you this, all this, whatever. Um, you right click on it, you put whatever in. Ta da! You can do it for anything. It's just, you might, if you don't know how to craft it, yeah, it's, you just put. You just look on the site and it will tell you. Um, where's the recipe book? Ah, there it is. Recipe book, you right click it. It will show you all the recipes. You click wherever to change the page. It will, oh god, what have I done? It's not really that nifty at this mod. Ah. Diamonds, it will show you. You click on the item, or it'll show you whatever to download, what you can do with it. Um, you press the right arrow, left arrow, whatever. Ta da! And yeah. What else did I get? Spawner GUI, that's a good one. Spawner GUI is you get a mob spawner, wherever it is. Mob spawner, mob spawner. There we go. Place it. And you right click, it. you right click it, and like I said, you have to you have to um make sure you're within the uh the parts of the world where it can be. For example, zombies will not spawn if it's daytime. I don't think. Um. Well, um, farms won't spawn unless they're in their region. Um. What else won't spawn there? I don't think blazers will spawn, ender dragons won't spawn, etc. etc. Okay, that's a lot of mobs. Hold on, niche. Um, spawn some sheep. Because this should work. Just wait for it to buffer. It's like loading. Sheep. Sheep. Ta da! Blah, blah, blah. Okay. Um, I don't know what other mods I got. Okay, that's it. Well, that's pretty much all you can do with the mods I downloaded. But there is a lot of mods out there that can be really fun. But you also have to be careful when downloading it. Okay. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Oh. And so you know, certain mods will not be available available through multiplayer. Item mods, mods such as Zen Minimap, X-Ray, and all that stuff that will work on multiplayer. 
unless the server has an anti X ray or whatever. And yeah, well, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it helped you a lot. Subscribe and see you next time. Bye bye.